Hey guys, today is August 4th. Been uh, 30, 31 days since I planted this uh, squash, corn and stuff right here. Planted on July 4th. And what I want to talk about right now is the difference that soil temperature makes in your crops. Uh, this stuff being 30 days old, some of the squash is already producing. It's uh, by the pack, it says a 50 day squash. To be able to get something to eat off of it in 30 days is a pretty cool deal. Especially if you were in a situation where all of a sudden uh, your food supply was you know, dwindling and you had people knocking on your door, you had a lot of people you wanted to take care of and you needed something to put in the ground right away to try to get something to eat. Uh, if it was summertime, squash should be a good thing to do. A lot of different ways to cook it. I like it thin sliced, uh, dipped in buttermilk and then uh, fried. Uh, throw that stuff in a pan with some candy onions and a little bit of bacon grease. Uh, saute it up. That's another way. That's some good stuff to eat right there. Or just chop it up and put it in a salad and eat it raw. When you put your crops in the ground in the springtime, yeah, you can get the seed to come up, but everything grows a whole lot slower. Put it in the ground later in the summertime when the soil is nice and warm and this stuff just goes crazy. Y'all have heard that expression with the corn knee high by the 4th of July. Well, they've done uh, extremely well. I side dressed everything real good this morning, put the healers on the cultivator and come down and I uh, plowed everything real good to pull the dirt up around the base of these plants to get them a nice uh, good structure to you know hold the roots and stuff in place and keep the wind from blowing these things over. They pretty much laid by now and I should be good to go with them. Shouldn't have to do anything else with this corn right here. And that's after just the first 30 days. That's not bad. I can't do this in uh, April and May, but July and August, I can. The only thing I have to worry about right now is just keeping the bugs off of them and keeping them watered. As you can see, the teeth tape is still in place. I just went ahead and healed this stuff up, pulled the dirt right up on top of the tape. Should be fine. And that's a beautiful looking row of patty pan squash and green zucchini right there. Looking real good. I come through here about twice a day, usually first thing in the morning, and then again later in the evening, uh, just checking for the squash bugs. I look at the plant, if I see some eggs on there, then I start looking real close for the bug because he's going to be around there somewhere. And when you see this squash start to fill out on these plants, that's just a pretty sight right there, knowing you can come by and just pick one or two off today and probably tomorrow I'll come back and do it again. Squash is one of those things where when you plant it, you can really get your money's worth out of it. Got that big old squash up under there. He's just begging somebody to come by and pick him. I'm going to get him shortly. Same for this fella right here. He needs to come off of there and uh, free up some energy to go ahead and fill out some more of them small squash on there. Much like the squash, same family, these zucchini right here, they just grow crazy. I'm going to try to keep these things picked while they're small. But every now and then we'll let a few of them get away, let them get on up there about a foot, 16 inches long, something like that, great big ones, and then we take them and make some zucchini bread out of it. That's some good eating right there too. Looks like we're going to have a bumper crop of zucchini right now. And that's a good little mess of zucchini and squash right there. I reckon my wife can figure out something to do with that. I don't know how she's going to cook it, but I can promise you there'll be something on the plate tonight. Whether it's fried, sauteed, or made into little uh, squash fritters, don't matter to me. Just let me at it. So keep this in mind when you're looking at the days to production on your seed packets and you're trying to decide what to plant. If you got something that says 50, 60 days on it and you're looking at planting in midsummer, assuming you can keep the water to it, uh, you should be able to knock at least uh, 15 days off of that, give or take, and speed up the production. If you got just a bunch of stuff in your house stored up uh, in cans, jars, and things like that, you'd like to have some fresh vegetables that you can eat right away, uh, look at those seed packets. Think about how fast things can grow. Take into consideration also the fact that uh, lettuces and things like that, they ain't going to do squat out here in the summertime. So y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.